Assalamualaikum. Hi everyone. So in in this video we will learn subtopic 3.1 mean inorganic nutrients from chapter 3 nutrition in plants. Look at to the picture. Why do the, the leaf on this plant turns yellow? Because it has to do with nutrient deficiency. This plant needs fertilizer. So Let's discuss more about the nutrients. The nutrient for the plants divided into two types, which are macronutrients and micronutrients. Macronutrient and micronutrient are required by the plants. Macro means a large amount of nutrient and Micronutrient is small amount needed by the plant. Macronutrients are divided into carbon, calcium, hydrogen, magnesium, oxygen, phosphorus, nitrogen, sulfur and potassium. Why micronutrient are chlorine, Zinc, iron, copper, manganese, cal, boron, and molybdenum. There are three main macronutrients, which are carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. This nutrient can be obtained easily from air and water from the soil. This nutrient make up most of the dry mass of the plant. Therefore, a lack of this nutrient is rarely experienced by the plant because carbon, hydrogen and oxygen can be obtained easily. So, let's discuss another macronutrient. What is the necessity of macronutrient in the plant? Look at to the picture. This is the stunted growth of the plant. So let's discuss about carbon, hydrogen and oxygen. Carbon, hydrogen and oxygen are for the important component in carbon cycle and oxygen cycle. Components in all organic compounds of plant and important components in synthesis of sugar. Therefore, the deficiency of the carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen, we make we we make the photosynthesis not take place. Less oxygen released by the plant, stunted growth, which can cause death because there is no glucose. Next, we discuss about the nitrogen. This is the picture of the plant that lack of nitrogen. What is the function of nitrogen? Give the green color to plant through the formation of chlorophyll, main component of protein, nucleic acid and enzyme in photosynthesis and respiration. So, the lack of nitrogen will cause Leaf undergo chlorosis, yellowing of the leaf mainly on the mature leaf. Underlying leaf fall off, protein synthesis disrupted and stunted growth. Next, potassium. So this is the picture of the plant lack of potassium. What is the function of potassium? Potassium is important in protein synthesis and carbohydrate metabolism as a cofactor for some enzyme maintain plant turgidity the deficiency of the potassium will make the plant protein the, the protein synthesis in the plant disrupted edge of yellow become yellowish premature death of plant Look at to the picture. The edge of leaf become yellowish. Next, calcium. 
in human if we lack of calcium we we will experience osteoporosis for the plant the plant become like this what is the function of calcium calcium is the main component of middle lamella cell wall and spinal fibers during cell division if lack of calcium the plant become stunted growth the leaf become distorted and low like uh, in this picture the parts yellow leaf vein become yellowish next magnesium this is the picture of the plant where lack of magnesium what is the function of magnesium main component of the structure of chlorophyll molecule activate some plant enzyme and involved in carbohydrate metabolism the deficiency of magnesium cause parts between matured leaf vein become yellowish red spot on leaf surface okay you can you can see at the picture red spot lock leaf next phosphorus this is the picture of the plant experience deficiency of phosphorus function of phosphorus is synthesis nucleic acid adenosine triphosphate atp and phospholipid in plasma membrane act as a coenzyme in the photosynthesis and respiration so if lack of phosphorus the, the plant will unhealthy root growth the formation of dark green and dull color leaf and red or purple spot appear on the other leaf you can see the purple spot appear on the leaf phosphorus p p for purple next sulfur so this is the picture of the plant lack in sulfur the function of sulfur is a component of a few amino acid one of vitamin B constituent and a few type of coenzyme. When lack of sulfur, the plant become the leaf of the whole plant turn yellow. Okay, next we will discuss about the micronutrient. Okay, the function of chlorine is the important in the equilibrium of osmotic pressure in cell and photosynthesis reaction the effect of deficiency the plant will slower growth rate leaf undergo chlorosis lesser food production so this is the picture of lack of uh, chlorine next iron iron act as a cofactor in chlorophyll synthesis important in the plant of young plant Important in the growth of young plant. Effect deficiency. The leaf, the young leaf become yellowish. So this is the picture of lacking of iron. Mangne manganese it activate photosynthesis enzyme. Important for cell respiration and nitrogen metabolism. So the effect of deficiency is net network of dark green leaf vein with a background of leaf light green light brown or gray spot in between leaf vein so this is the picture of lacking of manganese next boron boron helps the roots in calcium ion uptake and super translocation involved in carbohydrate metabolism and help in germination of pollen the effect of the deficiency of boron death of stamina buds and abnormal growth Leaf become thicker, roll up and fragile. So this is the picture of a plant that lacking of boron. Next, zinc. The function of zinc is important in leaf formation, synthesis of auxin, 
as a cofactor in carbohydrate metabolism. The effect of the deficiency leaves the surface become spot, spotted with chlorophyll part stunted growth. This is the picture lacking of zinc. Copper involved in nitrogen metabolism and photosynthesis, important for growth, reproduction, and flower formation. Effect of deficiency copper death of young shoot apex brown spots on terminal leaf plant becomes stunted so this is the picture of lacking of copper nickel a component of plant enzyme involved in the breakdown of urea to become ammonia which can be used by the plant the effect of deficiency are stunted growth reduced crop production burn effect at the end of the leaf due to the urea accumulation. So this is the picture of leaf that lacking of nickel. Yeah, we can see the burn effect at the end of the leaf. The last one is molybdenum involved in nitrogen fixation and nitrate reduction during protein synthesis. Lacking of molybdenum will cause chlorosis in between matured leaf vein, leaf become leaf color become pale green, reduce crop production. So this is the picture of lacking of molybdenum. Next, this is the complete not solution. Okay, uh, for history corner, the uh, history corner, Julius Sir and Wilhelm Not were the botanists who carry out the experiment to determine the role of macronutrient in plant growth. So, this complete NOC solution is uh, proposed by uh, Julius Sack and Wilhelm NOC. What is the content in the NOC NOC culture solution? Uh, culture so uh, a culture solution is used to study the importance of nutrient of plant growth known as NOC solution. NOC solution contains all nutrients including trace elements needed by healthy plant. A complete culture solution was prepared by a chemist named Wilhelm NOC in 1859. So this is the content in the solution. Calcium nitrate, potassium nitrate, potassium dihydrogen phosphate, magnesium sulfate, Parent 3 phosphate and distilled water. 